highly recommend doing an egg fast. I lost eight pounds. I did have a five pound weight loss this week. I lost 12 pounds. A 13 pound weight loss for the week. I lost eight pounds. I lost the seven pounds that I gained, uh, plus another pound. I lost seven pounds during this egg fast. Three pounds lost. I lost eight pounds. I was not expecting to lose that much weight. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about the egg fast and what I eat. So I have done the keto egg fast many, many times, and I have a playlist filled of videos of what I eat on an egg fast, day one through five, all of my results, but I wanted to put together a video, a single video with all of the meals and recipes that I eat on the keto egg fast to provide you guys with tools to be successful as well. I love the keto egg fast. It works pretty much almost every time for me. I definitely recommend it to you. If you guys don't know what an egg fast is, I do have a video explaining what it is, who should do it, why you should do it, and all the rules that go along with it. So make sure to check that video out if you're unaware. But this video is all about the meals and recipes that I eat on the egg fast to keep it super simple. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm the incredible shrinking Steffi, and this channel is my journey, journal is my journal. And this channel is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight of 374. I am losing my weight with keto and low carb, and I share absolutely everything with you guys on this channel. The good, the bad, the ugly of a weight loss journey. I am down 177 pounds from my highest weight, and I have dealt with uh, obesity my entire life. So I share on this channel a lot of the mental struggles, the mental part of this journey, uh, because that's, that's that's where we, we tackle. That's where we are tackling right now as we take this journey together. So if that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I have a support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. Come join us over there. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All of that is down below. All right, guys, let's get into the video. What I eat on an egg fast, all of the meals on how to keep it super simple. Let's go. going to make hard boiled eggs and uh, yeah, I do them in the Instant Pot. Yeah, so this is what I like to buy a lot and I get this from Walmart. I definitely like to buy this uh, when I'm doing the egg fast because yeah, there's 60 eggs in here. So there's 30 here and then there's 30 on the bottom. So I am definitely all set for my egg fast. So we are gonna go ahead and make um, hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. If you guys have not, made eggs in the Instant Pot. Oh my gosh, it is so super easy. I already put a cup of water in here um, and then we're just going to fill them up here. My kids like hard boiled eggs, so I'll probably make uh, two batches of these. They cook for five minutes, and then you do a gentle release for five minutes, and then I put them in a bowl of ice cold water for five minutes. It's called the 555 method for hard boiled eggs, and they peel like a dream. So that's one thing that's super frustrating sometimes when you you know cook hard boiled eggs is trying to peel them, and they are very frustrating. Definitely do it in the Instant Pot 555 method. I swear, it's the best. So I'm going to make make uh, the hard boiled eggs so I can have them on hand throughout these five days so I can just grab and go.
we're gonna make some cheesy scrambled eggs. So let's go make it. All right, I'm making my cheesy scrambled eggs. And then I put about a tablespoon of butter in there. Scrambled up three eggs. And I always season my uh, scrambled eggs. So I use Himalayan pink salt, ground black pepper, crushed red pepper. I love uh, hot, spicy foods, so I actually put quite a bit. And then I also uh, put some uh, chopped chives in there and give it more flavor. And then I add some mozzarella cheese to make it cheesy. So we are at the end of day one and I kept it very simple today. I had four fried eggs uh, for lunch. I fasted until lunch, of course. I had four fried eggs for lunch and two of them broke on me. So usually I like to have my eggs over hard. And so that's what I had for lunch with a couple pieces of sharp cheddar cheese. And for dinner, I did the same exact thing. So it's day one and it's just a very simple, basic day for me. Um, obviously, I, I'm not going to be doing that every single day because I will get sick of it. I did have four eggs uh, for each meal because they are kind of small. Normally I would have three, um, but that, that worked for me. So, and I cooked it in two tablespoons of butter. Chaffles are a lifesaver. Chaffles, chaffles, chaffles. I definitely recommend making chaffles if you're doing the egg fast. They will save your life. If you have never made a chaffle and you're keto and low carb, you are missing out. Make chaffles. Because if you haven't tried chaffles, oh, bread replacement. And for us ketoers, us low carbers, you need to have chaffles in your life. They will save your life. They're a game changer. All right guys, so I am about to make my chaffle mix. I always keep chaffle mix on hand, especially when I'm doing an egg fast um, or just doing keto in general. If you know me, then you know that I am a chaffle lover. I love chaffles. It is a great bread replacement for me and it's just made my life, my keto life so much easier. So if you haven't made chaffles yet, you're missing out. So we're gonna go ahead and make the mix now. So what I use, I do four eggs and I do four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Yes, I have the mayonnaise that is uh, not clean ingredients at all. Uh, definitely use your kind of mayo, whatever you use, but I do add mayonnaise to add that extra fat into my chaffles and I'm gonna use two ounces of cream cheese and I just blend it all together and I use my stick blender to do that. So I freaking love this thing. Oh my gosh, it blends everything all together uh, so quickly. So let's go ahead and make the chaffles. One thing I usually do is I um, put this in the, the, I put the cream cheese in the microwave for 20 seconds beforehand to soften it up and I did not do that. So I'm gonna do that in a small bowl right now just to soften it up. Makes it a lot easier to mix it together. All right, I have four tablespoons of mayonnaise, two ounces of cream cheese, and four eggs, and I just kind of stir it together first uh, before I use my stick blender. Now, if you're making chaffles and you're not doing an egg fast, you can definitely leave the mayonnaise out. I like to add it in uh, just to add um, the fat source, which is what we need on the egg fast. And now we're gonna use my stick blender. Oh, like I said, I love this thing so much. And we're just going to mix it up. Mm -hmm. 
All done. All right, so this is all done. I pour it in here um, and I just keep it in the fridge for whenever I am ready to make chaffles. There it is. So I'm just gonna make some chaffles with cream cheese. I absolutely love doing this because it's like a bagel replacement. So I make my chaffles and then I put some cream cheese on and then everything but the bagel seasoning. So that is what I'm gonna do today and I'm gonna show you how I make my chaffles. All right, so my uh, Dash waffle maker is literally one of my favorite things in the world. It's um, a newish item that I've got recently. I used to have the uh, one that makes the individual Dash waffle maker where it just makes one chaffle at a time. This one, uh, it has been heating up so it's very hot, but this one cooks a four at a time, which is awesome. It saves so much time. And like I said, it's literally one of my favorite things that I own. Not only does it cook, four chaffles at a time, but it has these compartments on the side for the overflow. And I used to always make such a huge mess with my individual uh, chaffle maker. Uh, and this one just, it's just awesome. No mess and it's super quick and I freaking love it. If you don't have one already, I would definitely recommend uh, getting one if you're gonna make chaffles <laughs> regularly, like I do, uh, because it really does save so much time and it's awesome. So um, I actually just get it on Amazon and that link is right below if you're interested in checking it out. But we're gonna go ahead and make the chaffles. So my chaffle mix, like I showed you earlier, I did have that mixed together. Um, after I mix it the first time, sometimes the egg sinks to the bottom, so you you just want to give it a good stir that's what I'm gonna do right now all right and the first thing that I do is I put my cheddar cheese so I put cheese on the bottom and cheese on the top and that's gonna make your chaffles crispy and the more cheese you put on the crispier it's gonna be and today I'm gonna to be making three chaffles uh, since I'm just gonna be doing the cream cheese each chaffle is about a half an egg each so if you're doing the egg fast and not carnivore you want to make sure that you're getting at least six eggs daily so when you're making these chaffles they're only a half an egg each so keep that in mind when I make a chaffle egg sandwich I have uh, two chaffles but then I put two eggs inside so it equals to three eggs for the meal so definitely keep in mind um, how many eggs you're consuming daily so let's go I don't know if I mentioned, but that has been heating up as I was talking. So you always wanna make sure you heat it up first. I do not use any type of um, cooking spray because then that will make the cheese greasy. So we're just gonna put the cheese on and then we're gonna pour on our mix. That one's a little bit too much, probably that one too. So they're probably gonna overflow, but you'll see it overflows right into the compartments. And then I put cheese right on top. I like a lot of cheese. And then, we cook for five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. I'll meet you back here when it's done. All right, timer went off. The chuffles are done. See how the overflow goes right into uh, that compartment there? I freaking love it. So they are done, let me unplug it and we're gonna get them on the plate. I totally said I was gonna make three, didn't I? And I only made two. Yeah, you guys caught that, didn't you? And there we go, my chaffles. I'm probably, I'm gonna go ahead and make a third one. <laughs> oh gosh. My third one is cooking, but we're gonna go ahead and cream cheese these and put the seasoning on, so. I put about, about an ounce of cream cheese uh, per chaffle. All right, 
and then I just put um, everything but the bagel seasoning. That is it. Mm, and it's so good. So good. One of my favorite things to eat on an egg fast and just keto in general. And it's good, clean, it's good. Besides the mayonnaise. Mmm. So good. I am gonna go ahead and make a couple chaffles, just plain chaffles because I'm not that super hungry. So I'm just gonna make a couple uh, plain chaffles and I might make three, I'll probably make two, but my kids usually steal them from me. Maybe I'll make three, I don't know, but I'm not that hungry, maybe I'll make two. Anyway, I'll probably just make two and if I want more, then I'll just make some more after that. <laughs> but um, yeah, chaffles, 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 like I said, they're gonna save your life in this egg fast. Crispy. Uh, but I am having, yes, a chaffle sandwich. Cooked up two of my crispy, cheesy chaffles, and then I fried up two eggs in about a half a tablespoon of butter. I don't like to eat a lot of fat um, right before bed because it just kind of makes me nauseous. So. I don't do as much fat for my dinner, but I did a half a tablespoon of butter, cooked them up, and I do eat my eggs uh, over easy. And yeah, no cheese tonight. I'm just doing the cheese that's in the chaffles, but that is what I am eating for dinner. I'm ready to eat. And I'm about to eat my first meal. I just cooked it up. It is a cheesy scrambled egg chaffle sandwich. <laughs> So I cooked up two of my crispy cheesy chaffles and they, they're they just coming out so crispy lately, which is awesome. I used the finely shredded uh, cheddar cheese. I think that makes a big difference too um, with how crispy they come out, I think. Uh, but anyway, cooked up two of my chaffles and then I scrambled two eggs just as I did yesterday, seasoned it with the same stuff, used mozzarella cheese, and I just put it into a sandwich. It actually stays together pretty well, uh, which is surprising, but if little pieces are sticking out and just eat those but anyway that is what I'm having I'm not having a piece of cheese with it because I've got the mozzarella cheese in the eggs and the cheddar cheese in the chaffles I just made my dinner I'm about to eat it and I am having eggs on toast so I made up two of my crispy cheesy chaffles again and I cooked up two over easy eggs and it's kind of like my egg chaffle sandwich but I'm just eating them individually uh, just like eggs on toast. So that is what we're having tonight for dinner. And for dinner, I made chaffles again. So if you have been following my journey, you know that I'm a chaffleaholic. If you're new to my channel, be prepared to see lots of chaffles. I love chaffles. So that is what I had for dinner. And oh my gosh, guys, I used my new dash again and I absolutely love it because it is such a time saver. I made them without the cheese this time, so like an actual waffle. And I use Chalk Zero maple syrup, which is so good. It's thick and just so yummy. It tastes just like the regular. I leave out the cheese for these ones, obviously, because I don't want a savory chaffle. I want a sweet chaffle. And so whenever I do make those kinds of chaffles, I make four. And when I was using my mini dash that just made one, it would take forever. And, you know, the ones that I would make first would get cold and... Oh, I just made four at one time and it was just so super quick and it's just awesome. You guys have to get one, it's it's great. And I love, like I said before, I love the overflow um, compartments, is that what you call them? Because there's no mess and it's just, it's great. It's freaking awesome, worth the money. Definitely check it out, I have the link below. All right guys, we are day three of the egg fast and we decided to go play today. So I packed myself some lunch. And today, I'm having a chaffle sandwich. Are you surprised? <laughs> this time it has egg salad. I've never had an egg salad sandwich with a chaffle. So yeah, and I have a piece of American cheese in it. So we're gonna try it together right now. Okay, let's do it. 
get some egg in there. Mmm. Mmm. You guys gotta make truffles. They are just, they're delicious and they're a game changer. I know I've said it a million times, but you gotta make truffles. For lunch, I actually made a grilled cheese sandwich. So it was actually a chaffle. Um, I just blended the two eggs, one ounce of cream cheese, a tablespoon of coconut oil, and made a chaffle. And so I actually cut it in half and put some American cheese in the middle. And then I uh, put butter on the sides, just like a regular grilled cheese sandwich. And then I fried it up and let the cheese melt. And it was so good. It was like eating, you know, a grilled cheese sandwich. Um, obviously the chaffles don't taste exactly like bread, but it is a great substitute and just changes it up. Like you don't feel like you're eating eggs. So it's perfect for the egg fast just to make your meals more interesting. So I highly recommend it. Make sure that you do butter the sides uh, when you do me uh, melt the cheese, just like a normal grilled cheese sandwich. Because the first time I did the egg fast, I did not do that. I did have a grilled cheese and I did not uh, butter the sides and it burnt my chaffle. This time I did the butter thanks to my mom. She gave me the tip and it worked like a charm. So my first meal I had earlier uh, this morning, I think it was like 10.30, but I actually made something new. Um, I have mentioned this recipe in my other Egg Fast videos, but I've never made it. And I've heard, you know, other people made it and it's pretty good, so I wanted to try it. I actually made an Egg Fast quiche this morning. So it actually calls for 12 eggs and 12 tablespoons of butter, um, four ounces of cream cheese, and some uh, salt and pepper, you know, to taste. but. It's just a lot, you know, and I think that's why I never made it because it's a lot of eggs and it's a lot of butter and it really was, but it tasted good. Um, it also calls for eight ounces of cheddar cheese. I'll put the link uh, to that recipe down below if you guys want to make it, but it was just something different, you know, and um, it was pretty tasty. So it says that it makes it into six servings, but I actually cut it into five. So it was about two and a half eggs per slice. I made something new today. I just made my lunch and it's now 11 a.m. but I made an egg loaf and I haven't made an egg loaf yet and I've been seeing them recently. Um, but this one calls for eight eggs, eight tablespoons of butter and eight ounces of cream cheese. I just blended it all together in my Ninja Foodie blender and then baked it for 40 minutes at 350. I will put the recipe down below, uh, but this one was just a basic egg fast egg loaf. So just the eggs, cream cheese and butter. So when it was done I put some more butter on and I used some chalk zero sugar-free uh, maple syrup which is really really yummy it tasted just like French toast oh and it calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon in the mix as well and plus I sprinkled cinnamon on top so really really good I had never tried it before and I will definitely make these again for my egg fast So my mom actually did the egg fast with me. I started before her, so she's she's still on the egg fast right now. But she made these uh, snickerdoodle crepes, and they're egg fast snickerdoodle crepes. And she said they are so good. So I am going to give you guys the recipe for that in the description, and I definitely wanna make them. Even if I'm not on the egg fast, I wanna try those. So, But I didn't get around to making them. So, oh my gosh, I just went shopping with my mom and dropped her off, and she gave me one of the crepes, the egg fast snickerdoodle crepes. <gasps> They're really, really good. I should have made them. They're really good, but she gave me another one to bring home. So if you're doing the egg fast, highly, highly recommend making the crepes. They are really, really good, especially if you are craving anything sweet. And even if you're just doing keto or low carb, guys, you need to make these. So, so good. I just wanted to add that in there. My biggest tip is just to make your meals interesting. Don't eat the same thing every single day or you're gonna get sick of it. And you know, disguise your eggs. If you're getting sick of eggs, eat some chaffles, make some crepes, and you know, make a quiche. Or there's actually an egg fast fettuccine Alfredo recipe. There's egg fast garlic bread that you can make. I'm gonna give you guys all those recipes because Changing your meals up and disguising your eggs is truly what's going to help you be successful when you're doing the egg fast. So I'm gonna share everything with you guys, just lots of things that you can do to change it up. And I still have two more days left of the week, so I am actually doing carnivore. 
The reason why I'm doing carnivore right after the egg fast is because I want to gradually add those carbs back in. If you're going to do the egg fast, your body is going to go into shock, obviously, because you're cutting out all of the carbs. You're going to lose weight. You're cutting out those carbs. But if you start eating carbs again right after, you will gain some of the weight back. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and join my support group on Facebook. I I will see you guys at the next video. Stay safe and choose health. Bye guys.